Hey what's up guys welcome back with Anfas Ahmed today we are going to upgrade our laptop storage by using a SSD that SSD is from Kingston uh, the model is A400 and it's 120 GB SSD M.2 it's not uh, the regular 2.5 inch SATA SSD but this is also SATA but this is M.2 SSD that is 128 GB from Kingston now let's take the SSD and go to how it looks like in the package and the coverings after that we'll take our laptop and upgrade and we will copy the windows operating system from ssd to the, the hard drive then it will be very fast now the laptop is very slow because of it's using the hard drive instead of uh, an ssd let's take the ssd and we will check how it is guys uh, this is the kingston ssd uh, a400 model and it says 10 times faster and this is 128 gb uh, ssd the model is sa400 ma 128 gb assembled in taiwan and uh, there are so many things but it's not regard uh, let's take our laptop it's an i3 8th generation and 4 gb ram and 1 tb hard drive now we are going to put this ssd 128 gb ssd to that laptop then it will run very fast it is very slow because of the hard drive it's running about 50 to 60 mb i think this will run around 1000 or uh, 1500 mbs per second now let's take the laptop and see before that we will see what are the things we need to remove and upgrade the thing we need the ssd and the laptop this is the laptop we need a screwdriver very small one to remove the laptop and a small card or something like this to remove the back case and a portable ssd and another hard drive to back up uh, this is my pen disk 500 gb ssd the video about the unboxing and the review video will be here and uh, we need a USB thumb drive to use as a rescue media and later we will sometimes need if the boot up didn't work when the cloning setup can use this to back up your windows settings and hard drive now we will start our cloning process and now let's remove the laptop and we will uh, install the hard drive then we will use the there is a software a free software to clone for windows 10 we will use that software and we will download that and install and we will clone from hard drive to the ssd and uh, this is the SSD. Now we will uh, cut this. Take this part. We'll take this. Guys, this is the SSD. Don't touch these pins because it is used to connect with the laptop. We'll keep this SSD aside by putting this one. We'll throw this. Okay, now we will. I have shut down it, and we will. There is there was a sticker here. I have removed it, and uh, don't miss mix with uh, these nails because they are a different different length for different nails so be careful with the nails otherwise you will break down the laptop and now we'll take this first screw these are very small nails and uh, be careful that you are not going to lose this and use a magnetic screw if you can otherwise it will be a mess for you keep remember of your the nails they are you removed and stuff otherwise you will be in trouble when you fix it a semi magnetic one proof is for the dvd drive now we will remove the dvd drive and keep aside and guys we have removed all the the screws and we have kept in order don't mess with it we will turn to this side and now this is the time and guys now you should open it and use this to remove from these sides but very be very careful uh, this is plastic so it will break when you remove the starting point is very hard after that it is easy this is the hardest part now slowly uh, close the laptop and turn around and remove the chassis part be careful and guys we have removed the chassis part and this is the battery this is the 2.5 hard drive and this is the 4gb ram and this is the wi-fi card and here is the ssd where you should install and there is a small screw you should remove that first and be careful is the it is the smallest screw you should install ssd just insert it here it says like you can put the nvme also the nvme means it's the very far fastest ssd now let's install the ssd just insert and put the screw again tight it very we can't put nvme to this laptop because the nvme is very fast like uh, 2000 3000 mb per second and it gets very hot so we should have a like a fan or something like to cool it down and there are some dust so we will 
clean it using a tissue paper and this is the heat pipe that cool down the CPU now we will install the chassis we will wipe down the chassis also using a tissue be careful before installing the screws I would like to check whether the SSD is working by switch owning it then after that we will install the screws be careful when you open it slowly open and switch on you know that now it's loading from the hard drive so it will be very slow and guys now we see uh, whether the hard drive is can be seen or not uh, by going to the disk management search for disk uh, management and you will see the sorry 120 ssd but it's not allocated we will use the software macrium flex i have downloaded it to install the windows and this system recovered partition to this one and screw the laptop open the reflect and guys now we will shut down the laptop before screwing down getting shut downing slowly close press make it very tight and put the dvd drive uh, slowly and now we will uh, put the screws and guys if you want to upgrade your ram in the card here and link the description also where i upgrade my ram from 4gb to 8gb that is same laptop as this one it's easy don't tie too much otherwise it will break the threads because this is plastic and we will paste this sticker and we will turn on the laptop again and guys now we will switch on the laptop clone the disk from the hard drive to the ssd it's loading slow i have put a comparison video uh, in the card here and i will link in the description also now we will type the password and after that we will uh, use the reflect free version uh, that's the home version i have downloaded it and installed we can start the process of cloning from hard drive to the ssd uh, the operating system and the programs and we will open the and guys uh, now we will open the google chrome and search for Macrium Reflect 3 uh, that is the software we are going to use to clone the disk we are going to use the home version and uh, the main thing we want is disk cloning uh, for the free version it's available and we click on download home version and it's asking for some email and spam. we don't want those stuff and uh, we we'll click on uh, continue and it will load the downloader uh, but i have already downloaded it so i will place and uh, we will open the reflex software uh, then it will ask for uh, where to install and uh, i will click on the default option and it will start downloading and guys completed downloading and click on next and accept the agreement and click on next it will ask for a password or key but we don't want because we are using the home version select home and click on next again it will ask for registration but we don't want to register because we are using only once and click on next and again click on next next and it will prepare the software and click on finish and now we will open the disk management uh, to see the ssd is it uh, is it available and guys uh, the macrium reflect version is uh, now on and now we will uh, start the process of cloning click on clone this disk and it will ask for the uh, destination and we will click on the select drive to clone and it will show the our ssd kingston 120 ssd and we should drag and drop according to the order otherwise it will fill the uh, whole drive and we will paste the system drive and again then we will uh, paste the c drive and it, it's asking for the schedule but we don't want scheduling because we are doing only once then we click on next and uh, it will show a summary and we click on finish and click on ok and it will start the cloning process i will speed up uh, for me it took like uh, almost two and a half hours to three hours and guys uh, now the cloning process is complete here you can see and we will close and uh, now we'll go to disk management here you can see the as a effort drive uh, the things are copied here you can see the these things are copied we will we will check how it looks like it's very same here you can see even the all the dates time and everything is same and now we will format this drive format yes i think this is going to format uh, this is the os drive it's completed as format okay and we'll close it now we will try to restart again and check whether it's loading with the ssd 
now it's loading with ssd the kingston ssd but it's loading uh, slow because this is the first loading process startup and uh, we will we'll type the password and uh, now i have copied the previous data uh, from this laptop to my sandix ssd now we will copy from that sandix to this laptop and guys you uh, saw uh, how to clone your disk from ssd to hard drive the same way you can do from smaller ssd to a larger ssd and or uh, from a larger ssd to small ssd you can do any way you want uh, this is a similar process you will go through and thank you guys please subscribe and like and share we'll see in a new video the recommended videos and links are in the card here and the links are in the description we'll see in a new video thank you bye peace